Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. If you are looking for a place where you can host your Python and Flask application for demonstration purpose and also you don't want to spend any money on it, then you are looking at the right video. In this video, you will learn how you can deploy your Python Flask API or web application on AWS EC2 instance for free and show it to your potential client and get freelance work. So let's get started. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you need few things ready. First, you need your Python Flask application running and make sure you have latest requirements.txt file so that we can install the packages that is needed for that application to run. Second, you need AWS account and make sure you verify your AWS account so that you can create EC2 instance. Next, you'll need uh, FileZilla or any such kind of application with which you can transfer content from your computer or local machine to any server. It is not mandatory to use FileZilla. We can copy paste, uh, you know, files into the EC2 instance, but you know, that will be not helpful in case if you have a bigger application. Once you have these things ready, we are ready to deploy our Python Flask application on AWS. Now I will open my terminal and navigate to the folder where my code is and I'll open it into Visual Studio code. I already have created a virtual environment for this and I'll run my code. In my case, it is python run.py and I'll click on this link. So yeah, I see all is well and that means my code is running successfully. So I'll stop this. I'll use peep freeze uh, arrow sign and then requirements.txt. So this will freeze all the dependencies and uh, write them into requirements.txt file. So yeah, it is there. Now I'll go to AWS and I'll search for EC2. I'll go to EC2. It will open EC2 dashboard. Here I'll click on launch instance. Here I'll write a uh, test instance. This will be name of my instance. I will select Amazon Linux. This is Amazon machine image and I'll left everything else as it is. I'll then select T2 micro. It is, you know, it is, it is best suitable for, you know, demonstration purpose. Then in the key pair section, I'll click on create new pair. I'll say test instance key. I'll click on create key pair. Yeah, it will download a PAM file. Next, I'll select allow SSH traffic from anywhere. Then uh, you can, you know, select allow HTTP traffic from internet as well. Then I'll left the remaining configuration as it is and I'll create launch instance. This will launch the instance and we can go to view all instances and this is my instance. Now I would like to connect with this instance. So I'll click, uh, copy this public IPv4 address. I'll go to my terminal and before that 
what I'll do that I will copy paste the file, the PAM file we just downloaded into this directory. So this is my file. And I'll paste it here. So if I ls, I can see that test instance underscore key dot pam file. So I'll do ssh ec2 hyphen user at the rate the IP address we just copied. Uh, let me make sure I did copy that. Okay. And then I'll paste it here. I'll hit enter. SSH will ask me to add this fingerprint. I'll say yes. It will say permission denied because uh, my computer doesn't have the permission to access that server. So what I'll do, I'll do SSH hyphen I and then provide the path or the file where the PAM file is. And then I'll say EC2 hyphen user at the rate, the public IP address and I'll hit enter. It will still say that you don't have the permission and this is a common problem. So I'll do ch mode 0400 and then I'll provide the path to the PAM file. Now if I try to log in into the EC2 instance, hopefully I'll be uh, successful. Yeah, you can see we have login into the EC2 instance. Now let's make sure the Python version here. So if I write Python, then Python 2.7 is there. And if I write Python 3, then Python 3.7 Point 0.16 is there. So I think we don't have to install anything. Now, let me go to FileZilla and let me connect to the instance through FileZilla. Here, uh, I need to open the site manager. I'll create, a, oh, okay. There is one YouTube demo site is there. So I'll come here and I'll provide the public IP address and I'll select the here you need to select SFTP provide the public IP then select key file uh, user is EC2 user and I'll browse and uh, select the file we have downloaded it is uh, Python AWS deploy and project code and I'll need to change to PAM file and here is the file now if i click ok and then if i go here and if i go to youtube demo yeah i want to connect yeah you can see we are now into the server now i'll create a folder and enter into that folder let's say demo underscore app here on the, my left side in my local computer, I will navigate to the folder where my code is. So it is on desktop, YouTube and inside uh, Python AWS deploy and project folder. So this is my code. So I'll copy everything. I'll not copy the environment file. Oh, sorry, environment folder. So I need this. I need run file. Yeah, I need these files and I'll click on upload now these files are into the uh, demo app directory uh, we can go to this terminal we can do ls and indeed there is a demo app directory i'll cd into demo app i'll do ls so okay all the required files to run the application is there so what I'll do first, I'll do Python 3 hyphen M V E N V V E N V V E N V. So V E N V is Python module and the last V E N V is name of my virtual environment. I'll create a virtual environment. 
so now when i ls it will show that virtual environment so i'll source into venv bin and then activate so now you can see i am inside my virtual environment i'll do pip install hyphen r and from the requirements.txt file so this will install all the required dependencies yeah uh, don't worry about this command it just says that you need to upgrade pip and if you want to you can do it i'll do it as well so now our application is ready to run so i'll say python run.py and you can see the application is running on port 5000 So now if I go to my browser and copy this public address followed by 5000 port hopefully we will see all is well I think it is not showing uh, this all is well message and there is a reason for that let's solve that problem so we'll go to AWS under security section you will see security groups i'll click on that security group i will edit inbound rules yeah uh for ssh it is okay i don't need this we have created that i'll click on add rules i'll select custom tcp i'll select the port on which my python application is running i'll select this 0.0.0.0/0 i'll save the rules i think the rules are now saved now if i click on this yeah you can see we got all is well message so you can see we got indeed a request here So the application is now successfully deployed on AWS EC2 instance. There are still few things that you can try in order to make it more robust. So for example, you can run the application using gunicon and then run app. Yeah. So this will but you know this will run the uh, the application on port 8000. and if we try to you know uh call it on 8000 we will you know not get any response cause uh, port number is not exposed so what we can do is that uh you can say gunicon and then there is a bind and then there is a 0.0.0.0 followed by the port number and uh, yeah i think uh, this will work oh sorry guni con yeah you can see the application is running on port 5000 local host so now i can refresh this and you can see we got the ref response uh you can also you know run the same script using nginx for you know better uh, load handling and everything also you can run this gunicon in daemon mode so that you can close this terminal and still application is running also you can try process manager 2 to run this python file and it will be you know running in the background so i hope uh, this is helpful to you and i hope you have learned how to deploy your python flask application on aws ec2 instance in case you face any issue uh, following this tutorial please write it down into the comment section of this video and i'll get back to you if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you peace